My name's Neil Crockett. I am the Chief Digital Officer at Rolls-Royce. Our team is the centre of excellence inside Rolls-Royce to accelerate the collection, the sharing, the analysing and the monetization of data. We do that in two ways. Um, we help our business units, and we work very closely with our business units, we help our business units find new propositions, new ideas that are going to delight our customers in terms of our, our offerings. Uh, and the other thing we do is we work with the business units as well to find out ways in which we can release value, release, um, reduce costs, release cash in terms of using particularly analytics and AI and data engineering. The way we go about doing that is by um, using the principle of acceleration and momentum. So, uh, for example, when it comes to identifying areas inside Rolls-Royce where we can release cash or, or reduce costs, we are working with the business collaboratively to find parts of our organisation, our operating systems, whether it's customer and services, whether it's design, whether it's manufacturing, where we have a hypothesis that data analytics or AI can make a difference. We then get small, multifunctional teams with data analytics and AI at its heart to the problem, to where we think the value is, and we do 90-day sprints. If it works, we carry on and we look for the times 10 uh, impact. If it doesn't, we start, we move the team to another hypothesis and work it through. So we're looking at getting that sort of um, spread through our throughout Rolls-Royce so we can engage people, we can get excited, we can see the value and we can get used to learning data analytics and AI as being a real value driver for the business. Um, data is really important, data innovation is really important to Rolls-Royce and the reason it is is because we're really, first of all, we're really good at it, right? We've been doing this for 30 years. We've been running data innovation services, analytics, etc., as the core for some of our leading products like Total Care and Civil um, is a particular example. So we're good at it. We should bring that to our customers in a wider way and we should unleash the value of that across Rolls-Royce in a wider way. But the second thing is if we can think about data as a thread that goes through the business. It's actually from design to manufacturing right the way through to the way um, we talk to our customers and work with our customers right the way through the services we give life cycle. If we think about the data that's inside those particular elements, if we can get those mixed, if we can get them shared and analyzed, we have an incredibly powerful asset for us and our customers. Um, and also if we can then combine that data um, together with data that's outside with other partners in a collaborative way, we can really get a, a data view that allows us to think really exciting new thoughts. Yeah, to take on a, a mindset that's digital, you've got to do two things, I think, with the teams. First is to make them willing and then to make them able, willing and able. So in terms of willing, the thing that you've got to do, I believe, is get people engaged, get people excited, get people believing that it's going to work. So this is why I'm very keen on multifunctional cells and sprints around particular problems or value opportunities for the company. It gets people doing stuff, which I think is really important. The second thing is that you've got to when you're letting people come up with their ideas or create or develop new ideas, you've got to empower them. You've really got to follow through, give them the time uh, and make sure that actually people feel it's real as opposed to something which is like a parallel universe. Uh, and then the third thing I think is really useful is bringing in external ideas. So working with small exciting companies and universities and bringing them and it stimulates people, it gets them excited. So that's excited, that's the willing bit. Uh, the able bit, I think there's many ways of doing it. The way we're approaching it is through a program called the Digital Academy. Digital Academy is a set of courses that are put online that people can subscribe or volunteer to. They could be small modules or, um, that take very little time. They could be longer modules that help people uh, develop a professional qualification. They could be about a, some mindset issue. They could be about some skill set like analytics. There might be something about an approach like design thinking. But it's about building up a syllabus where people can come and, and get involved once they're excited. And, and the idea there is that you don't mandate what's on that academy, uh, you actually ask people to volunteer content, to create content so it becomes more like a movement or a community of people who are excited. That's the approach we're going to take. Diversity is one of the most central important things if you're trying to create an innovative organisation, particularly a digitally innovative organisation. Um, ideas come from multifunctional teams but they also come from diversity, they come from different mindsets, from different approaches, different views. So you have to, I mean, to me, digital innovation is not linear. It's not like a TRL where you go from stage one to ten. It's more like a jacuzzi. 
Uh, you have to have lots of ideas coming in, it's untidy, but you've got to have that diversity. So if you don't have diversity, you, I believe you really put a glass ceiling on what you can do in terms of innovation. So since our team is meant to be and is the centre of um, excellence for digital innovation inside Rolls-Royce, a focus on diversity has got to be really important. And to be honest with you, it's something I think a lot of engineering companies, a lot of the, our market have got to work on if they're going to be successful in, in doing their digital transformation.